Welcome, fellow recovering traditionalists, to episode 199, Flexible Fingers, the many ways to show numbers with fingers. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. Last week, I reshared an old video about using math games in the classroom with Dan Finkel. And while watching Dan's video, he showed three with his fingers. And I had recently finished editing part three of the Missing Part Activity series, in which I showed the number three with my fingers. And it just kind of struck me how both Dan and I represented three with our fingers. Here is how Dan shows three. He has his pinky and his ring fingers down with the middle index and thumb up. And here is how I show three. I show three with the three middle fingers up with the thumb and pinky touching. Now, the way that Dan shows three is the way to show three for American Sign Language. And how I show three is actually the six when you sign numbers in isolation. My natural instinct is to show it that way that I did in the video, Um, but it's just a hard habit to break if that's the way that you've always shown a quantity. But I also want kids to see quantities in lots of different ways, like showing three using two hands. Uh, Before we get further, let me know down in the comments of this video how you show three. What is your natural instinct? Now, As I was thinking about this and the different ways that we show numbers, I remembered a video when my two oldest were super young and we were sitting at the dining room table having breakfast. And I'm gonna show the video at the end of this video because a lot of you just listen to this via the podcast. So I'm just gonna explain it for right now, okay? So visualize, we're sitting at the dining room table. Uh, My daughter has showed five with all fingers up on one hand with her palm facing out, like facing me. My oldest son asks, want to see my five? And he shows five with his palm facing himself and with the fingers pointed to the side instead of up because he wanted to show it differently than his sister. So then I asked them, how else can you show five? My daughter didn't know. You could kind of see a little blank face. And she turned to look at her brother. And all he had was to just flip his hand around and then put the fingers up. All they knew was that five was all fingers up. Well, then my husband jumps in and he's like, like this? And he shows two on one hand and three fingers on the other hand. And I asked, is that five? Well, they had to count those fingers to determine if it was five. So they could subitize five when it was in that traditional format. But when we presented it differently, they had to count. So with this video, I just want to bring to the forefront of your mind to not always show using the same finger configuration when you're showing quantities so that kids don't think that that is the only way that you can show it. Now, remember, do keep in mind that ASL has a very specific way to show numbers, but we do want kids to see those small quantities in lots of different ways. So if it isn't with fingers, then check all of your visuals that you're using. Do you always show quantities the same way when you're using 10 frames? Do you always show it the same way on a rec and rec? If so, Try varying it to give kids a deeper understanding of what the quantity means and what it looks like. So until next week, my fellow recovering traditionalists, keep letting your students explore math, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep building math minds. Nice. Good job. How else can you show five? <laughs> like this. Is that five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, 
Let's open this more. What about that way, Jager? Five, six, 